guys, welcome back to the Outdoors More TV YouTube channel. And in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to replace the thermostat on your Polaris snowmobile. Let's get into it. Alright, so you got your hood open, ready to go. First, you're going to want to pinch off the line that goes to your thermostat. Your thermostat is on top of your engine here, or at least for me. This is a 2007 Polaris Switchback. Thermostat is up here. And you want to pinch off that hose. You don't necessarily need to take the hose clamp off, but I did anyway. And then you're going to want to take off the mounting bracket for you and move that out of the way so you can get your thermostat cover off. Alright, so after you've done that, you're going to have two 10 millimeter bolts. You're going to have one here and one here. I got an extension with the 10 millimeter socket. Take out those two bolts take this off carefully and we had a little bit of coolant come out and you are you definitely are gonna have some air you're definitely gonna have some air in your system after this you're just gonna have to bleed your system after you're done so this is the thermostat that we just took out we got the same one bought it from Polaris be careful when you're putting this rubber ring on um, I got it all ready to go and ready to reinstall so I would recommend putting a towel down here so then if you do spill some coolant, we did have a little bit of coolant come out, but it'll pick up all that coolant instead of it just going down into your engine. Now you're gonna take your new thermostat and reinstall it back into your engine. Take your 10 millimeter socket and tighten them down. Make sure these are back on tight. You can move your hose clamp back to where it was and take your... All right, so what you're gonna do, you're gonna unclamp your hose. All right, so once, taken your clamp off here you're gonna loosen this and take your take your coolant cap off to let some air in and then loosen this up you should hear the air come out and then coolant will start dribbling out tighten that back up clean up your coolant you're good to go and then take your bracket reinstall your throttle cable bracket here put your cap back on fill it up with coolant if you all right guys hope you enjoyed this video like subscribe and See you in the next video. Peace.